Hello and welcome to the CPS Inspires Update. I'm Craig Birnbeck. A librarian's job is to help our students fall in love with reading. But if a student can't find a book that they personally relate to, that's probably not going to happen. Now, thanks to the district's library equity refresh, librarians have a brand new diverse collection of books to share with our diverse student body. It's an exciting time for EPS librarians. Awesome. It is something that is truly unique, truly special, and I feel privileged to be able to work in Evergreen as a librarian while this is going on. I think I will end up with over 800 new books. These new books won't just add to the collection, they'll completely change the collection. Historically, uh, our collections have been very old. So our collections did not match our communities. And because our collections did not match our communities, we had lots of our students who would come to the library, would pick up books, and who could not see themselves. Now, thanks to the district-supported Equity Refresh Grant, EPS students can find books with characters that look just like them. The amount of money that we received really allowed us to buy a book for every kid. The Equity Refresh's goal is simple at its core. We want all kids to fall in love with reading because reading is great and also because kids who fall in love with reading, who read more, have such tremendous success as they move forward in their academic and eventually professional lives as well. But of course, the process to achieving the goal is never that simple. EPS librarians began this journey towards a new look library years ago when they connected with a library consultant. We started working with Jennifer Lagarde um, more than two years ago on just our own basic knowledge of what diversity and equity in libraries can look like. Those discussions eventually turned into a proposal. And that proposal was presented to Mike Merlino, our superintendent. He took it to the school board and there was bond money available for us to, to, to go ahead. The school board sign off came with a significant financial commitment. We have been able to bring in you know, between ten and twelve thousand dollars worth of brand new books, all published within the last five years. That's ten to twelve thousand dollars for every school library, for a total of over four hundred thousand dollars worth of new, diverse books. And so I'm excited that now our students will be able to have a selection of books that reflect them as readers, but then also that allow them to see into the lives and into the perspectives and walks of life of others. Michael O'Parent and his husband Brad feel that having books available that reflect their family will have an impact on their first grade son that goes well beyond just the enjoyment of the story itself. When my son picks up a book that, uh, you know, represents his family, of course he's going to be interested in reading it more because it's going to be appealing to him. He will understand it. He will be accepted. Uh, he will be recognized that, you know, Oh, my family is just like anybody else's. Rennie Stricker, who's a parent of two students in the district and works as a translator at EPS, says that this new collection will motivate her two daughters to visit the library more. I find it really exciting because I feel like if my kids get to see themselves in the book, they will be a lot more encouraged to read more. And as a parent, that is a win-win situation. Right now, librarians are doing whatever they can to get these new books into the hands of students. Of course, they can't wait until students can safely come into libraries and browse the shelves themselves. For Evergreen Public Schools, I'm Craig Burnback.